I was just thought of maybe giving you guys a tip here, you know, since we are moving some of the stuff around. We took apart the stand of the smaller tanks. Got a whole bunch of garbage we got to clean up here. Opened up this huge space here in the middle. Right? And now we're going to... These fish here are going to go to someone else's house for a little bit. While I drain the tank because it's a lot easier to move an empty tank than it is to move a full tank. <laughs> just, just tips. But uh, no, the real reason I came on here... I'm moving this 200 gallon one here. It's 72 inches long, 24 wide, 24 high. And I have to move it, well I had to move it from over here to here. So what I did was you get a board, right? Because I'm by myself and it's heavy. So I get a board and you can put it on the board and then it'll relatively slide fairly easy. Like I'm holding the phone in one hand and I'm able to move the tank just sliding it on there like that with one hand with the phone and see how I can manipulate the tank over over the wood right and you just use a nice flat smooth piece and that way you can just it just slides right and that was a, just an idea a tip for guys that have to move tanks big tanks by themselves that you don't got rollies or dollies the ground's uneven it's grass anything like that you can put down two by fours or as long as it's a smooth piece of wood flip the tank or use the bottom of the tank whatever you want right and you can slide it instead of having to pick it up but that's just a tip i thought i'd share let you guys know i'm still around i'm just doing a lot of different stuff and working but i'll try and uh do some videos and stuff for you guys of how i do it okay have a good afternoon bye one more thing I should mention is when you go to store your tanks, the reason why this is flipped, like if basically on sliding it on the board, I guess you'd maybe, for most people, you're gonna to wanna to use the bottom of the tank, but when you get to where you're going, make sure you flip the tank upside down because you don't want it to end up raining or something like that and filling the tank up with water while it's sitting in uh, your storage or whatever. So yeah, just make sure the tank's upside down and then that way the water can't get into it and uh, you know no nothing you get trapped in there or nothing like that either so okay bye